everybody, it's Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome to my very first Disney Theories Explored video. I am so excited to tackle this playlist. So um, I know normal Disney Theories people like show video clips of the movie and then they talk about like what the theory is and you know, they have their own way of doing it. My way of doing it, um, I actually did some research. I went in, I clicked on uh, one link that you'll see in the description and then that led to other links which led into like deeper explanations so then I wrote those down. Today's Disney theory is an odd one that I think I recall hearing like once before but I can't really remember like where I had heard it or if I had heard it. So th the theory is that Lilo and parents were in the CIA. Now, um, I'm going to put up a picture of Lilo and Stitch, um, and then I'll read to you guys what I had written down, and then I'll come back, and then we'll kind of, like, discuss it a little bit. So that's kind of how I'm going to do these videos. So um, I'm just going to read to you what I found, and then we'll talk about it. Okay, so this is what I found on the theory that Lilo and Nani's parents were in the CIA. Lilo and Nani's parents were in the CIA. Though Mr. and Mrs. Pelikadi, Pelikadi, I, I don't know how to pronounce her last name, before the events in the movie take place, one fan theory believes they led secret lives and Cobra Bubbles holds the key. We're supposed to assume a former CIA agent left the business to become a social worker? Highly unlikely. What's more likely is Cobra worked with either one or both of Lilo and Nani's parents in the CIA, which would explain why he hasn't already yanked Lilo out from under Nani's care. Furthermore, the theory suggests Lilo's love of photography and unusual taste in books are due in part to her parents' CIA influence. Disney's film Lilo and Stitch taught us three important things. Ohana means family, not all aliens are evil, and Elvis will forever be timeless. However, the heartfelt animated movie might have some top secret governmental background. According to Reddit user Kapu Kawa's interesting fan theory, they claim either one or both of Lilo and Nani's parents were actually in the CIA, which surprisingly explains a lot. Their parents died before the events in the movie took place, but Kapu Kaoa posturizes as to their day jobs before their fatal car accident. In case you forgot, Cobra Bubbles was originally a CIA agent before becoming a social worker. That's quite a major career change, no? Kapu Kaoa states, we are led to believe a CIA agent who was involved in alien contact just walked away to become a social worker? I think not. Not without a damn good reason. That reason is he is his old friend and partner, Lilo's father. Basically, Lilo's father and or her mother were, was co-workers with Bubbles during their CIA days, which explains why Bubbles hasn't yanked Lilo out of her current living environment under Nani's care. Kapu Kaoa elaborates on this idea by claiming Lilo's behavioral problems, the state of their house, and the frequency Lilo is left to her own devices would have other would have any other social worker taking Lilo out of that environment well before the events of the film or at the very least interviewing with some sort of court-ordered therapy. This explains why Nani's been adrift in the sheltered harbor of Bubbles patients. But patients can only run so thin before a person snaps. Bubbles cuts them some slack when he really shouldn't have, I mean, come on, in honor of his late friend, but he's not going to risk ultimately losing his job over it. An avid shutterbug, Lilo probably tells her big sis, my camera's full again, as Nani scrunches up her face in annoyance. Clearly, Lilo fills up her camera often, but Kapu Kaoa doesn't think it's only because she likes the art of photography. I think Lilo's father may have brought her on a low-risk surveillance assignment there on the island, knowing that w no one would look twice at a father and daughter taking pictures together. He used her as a cover of sorts. Since the majority of Lilo's subjects seem to be overweight person, something Lilo distinctly remembers, and now she takes, that, takes the same pictures as a way of remaining close to her deceased father. Oof, right in the feels. Not many little girls read books about oyster farming or Iowa's roadmaps, which is why Kapu Kaoa thinks Lilo's book collection is similar to her photography subjects. Her father likely had many books of wide-ranging topics he read to research for his various overseas undercover assignments, which she noticed and tries to emulate. Boom, right in the fields again. 
Many of the comments on Kapukawa's Reddit suggest Lilo's parents are alive after all, but are either in the Witness Protection Program or in some galactic assignment. Dun dun dun. However, other comments think the parents are deceased based on an episode of Lilo and Stitch's series. I guess until Disney execs say yay or nay to this theory, we'll never know for certain. So, uh, that was what I found. Um, I think it's actually very interesting. Um, I would totally believe that maybe her parents had some involvement in some government service, and that's why Cobra Bubbles was so lenient on Nani. But it really doesn't make sense that Cobra would, like, go from a CIA job to a social worker. My guess is either, like, it is something having to do with Lilo's dad or her mom or both of them, or maybe even the fact that something happened in his CIA job that either got him to quit or be demoted or something like that. But I really like this theory. Um, I want to know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Um, if I see enough of you, I really want to like make a video of reading your comments and seeing what your theories are. And uh, obviously, I'd give you guys credit for it. But anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will be making a fun fact videos next on the Haunted Mansion attraction. Uh, this is going to be a redo since I've already done it uh, twice. I did, well, three times technically. I did the Haunted Mansion movie, I think, and then I did the Haunted Mansion attraction normal and then holiday. So this one's just regular. I'm not going to do holiday. So um, look out for that. Anyways, other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my first ever Disney series video. If you guys liked it, let me know in the comment section down below. I cannot wait to read you guys uh, the other theories I have found. Anyways, bye little skeletons. Stay safe. Love you guys.